So, I am in the city of London. Behind me is Bank Junction. And in the distance there, you can see the towers of the financial centre of the city of London. It's quarter past seven. And I fancy a little walk in the city. Excuse the wind noise. I'm just going to have a little walk around Queen Victoria Street and just see how things have changed. actually be better for me to get into these little back streets and, and lanes and alleyways to shield me from the wind. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is. This used to be the area where the Temple of Mithras was. But what they've put in its place, I haven't got a clue what it is. I can't find a plaque to describe it. Oh, there's something there. Let's have a look. <clears throat> no, nothing. So, your guess is as good as mine as to what that might be. This is where the Temple of Mithras was. It's not here anymore. All right, I'm gonna have a little walk through here. Didn't even know this little walkway existed. This is going to bring me out onto Cannon Street. Morning. So there's more of this artwork, which is unexplained. <laughs> is it artwork? Just looks like a load of roots. That's Walbrook there. And over the road, that's Cannon Street Station. Forgotten Streams. The artist has taken her inspiration from the ancient Walbrook River which flowed through this site for hundreds of years. A watercourse during the Roman period, the Walbrook was slowly buried over the ensuing centuries. Forgotten Streams, cast bronze granite water. Christina Iglesias. Oh, we got there in the end. Right, 
I'd rather not be on these main roads to tell you the truth. I'd like to be in little back streets filming. <coughs> Queen Street. Years ago, he could have driven from here all the way down to Southwark Bridge down there. Well, it's behind the bus now. Wait for him to pass. All the way down there, that's Southwark Bridge. And you could drive all the way down there from the city. It's all closed off now. Look at this funky path. Might be the middle of a cycle lane, I don't know. Oh yeah, it is, I can see it on the floor, look. I'll show you this before I get run over by a cyclist. So I'm basically back where I started. That's where I started the walk. I've just walked around that building, or through it, and around the other side. So I'm back into uh, yeah, Queen Victoria Street. Nearly forgot then. Check out this little church here. I bet this is one of Wren's churches. The Guild Church of St. Mary Alder Mary. Rebuilt in 1679. To 82 by Wren's office after the Great Fire. The church follows its medieval outline. Okay. So this is Watling Street. Yeah, there it is, there's a sign. Watling Street. And this is the back of the church. Now this probably would have been a main thoroughfare back in Roman times. I bet it's just a little side street now. Lamborghini Urus. As if you need to know that, the Caldwainer. You are in the ward of Caldwainer, which in medieval times was a centre. I can't read it. Of something making. Yeah, whatever that says. Boot making, God knows. Little plaque up there, whatever that says. 
On this site stood the headquarters of the London Salvage Corps, 1907 to 1960. The good thing about these pedestrianised streets, or restricted access streets, is that when you're crossing the road, you're liable not to get run over. in here it don't say private let's have a little look if I get chucked out I'll get chucked out and I'm in Bow Lane. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I am. You can just see the corner back up there of Bow Bells, uh, Bow Church. But that where I walked through, that was a Calico House. Just a little back street that you would never know was there unless you had a little walk. Yeah, this is Bow Lane. And we're back on a Watling Street. I'll have a little walk up here. I don't suppose there's much up here, but uh. It's worth having a little butchers, ain't it? Another little lane there. I'll have a little look up there. And this is the front of St Mary's Church. Obscured by that tree. rambling walk I've got no no idea of where it's going to end up it's just to kill 20 minutes of time before I go to work basically them old stairs look down there That tower, can you imagine in the 1600s, that must have been the skyscraper of its day. Alright. Might like to come in here and film? Yeah, sure. Cheers mate, thank you. Look at this place. It's amazing.
What a beautiful building. That's a nice little surprise going in there. There's a little coffee shop in there. So if you're ever in the city of London and you come to the Guild Church of St. Mary Alder Mary, you can go in there and get a cup of coffee and a croissant if you want. <laughs> Why not? I've already had breakfast, so I didn't need any refreshments. All the pigeons hang out. Look how narrow that building is. So I'm back in Bow Lane. Right. Nice to know. So this is that little lane that doesn't even have a name but takes you somewhere obviously. There's just so many little alleyways and back passages that go to places you just never knew existed. I mean this don't lead anywhere. This looks like the back of a restaurant or a pub. It's obviously early in the morning, so... Um, where is this leading to? Let's see if I get thrown out. <laughs> it's mad, look, it's just leading to other little streets and alleyways that you... You wouldn't even know was here. What is this place? Didn't even know this was here. I've been working in London all my life. In the city. And everywhere basically. And I never even knew this little courtyard and little alleyway existed. So I'm assuming this takes us out back onto Cannon Street or Victoria, Queen Victoria Street. Yeah, 
here. This is the very western edge of Cannon Street. And back up there you're going towards St Paul's. And that's where Cannon Street crosses Queen Victoria Street. amazing that they put that sign down at foot level so that you can't see it and after you've walked along the path that's when you see the sign All right, so that's Watling Colt where I just walked along there and we're back onto Watling Street and I'm gonna start oh wait look there's St Paul's Cathedral there in the distance <coughs> I'm going to start winding this little walk down because I've got to get to work. The pavilion end. That's refreshing to see a cricket pub instead of a place that's uh, all about football and what have you. Well, that butcher shop. That's mad, in the middle of the city. And when I say the middle of the city, this is not a city where a lot of people live, honestly. This is just all about finance and feeding the people who come to work. To see a butcher shop here, for me, is quite strange. That might have been there for a long, long time. <laughs> Cake shop. Right, I'm going to have to carry that on another day because I've got to get to work now, so over and out. <laughs> 